Also this morning, a SWAT team responded to a home on North De Quincey Street for a shooting. Police say it looks like one person was shot by accident. That person is expected to be okay. But it's also the third time this week that police responded to the same address. Fox 59's Kaylee Schuyler spoke with neighbors about the violence that's becoming a trend. This is the third day in a row that police have responded to a home on North De Quincey Street. I spoke with neighbors who say it's time to move. A string of gun violence on North De Quincey Street all started just before 1 a.m. on Sunday morning. When the officers arrived on scene, they located what at this point in time appears to be an adult male individual suffering from an apparent gunshot wound in the front of the residence. 26-year-old DeMonte Parker was pronounced dead at the scene. Police also identified a person of interest, but that individual was later released and no arrest has been made. But the violence doesn't stop there. I heard uh, a loud shooting. I thought it was right at my door. It was so loud. Me and my son took cover. According to IMPD incident reports, officers were called back to the same home the next day for shots fired. A neighbor who lives down the street and doesn't want to be identified due to safety concerns says she's worried. All of a sudden I'm hearing all these strange things that's happening over here. And it's time to move. <laughs> Very scary. Police responded again to the same home just hours later for another person shot. Police do not believe the victim was intended to be shot. The person responsible for the shooting and the person shot are related, but the victim is expected to be okay. That's in my backyard, but uh, a lot of us is in our backyard. We would like to see the community come together mm -hmm. so we can have a more peaceful night sleep. I didn't sleep none last night. Neighbors also say they want to see more patrol in the area from police. I'm going to be very encouraging for neighborhood watch and to get things back to where it used to be at least. I spoke with IMPD and they say due to the ongoing investigation, they do not want to comment. On the east side, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 59 News. Kaylee, thank you. If you know anything about any of these three incidents, you can call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS and of course you can be anonymous.